Stay with me, Eddie. Stay with me. Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. It all began when I gave Twitch chat the ability to dump all the fuel out of my engines. Alright, the whole intro bit aside, chat's terrible decisions resulted in one of the most exciting VTOL experiences I've had in a while. I'm gonna leave that bit in at the end, unedited. Stick around to see that. Oh sh- Anyways, welcome back Brave Pilots. My nightmare continues. Chat once again has control of my canopy, ejection seat, and fuel dump valve. And they have no intent of letting my speedrun of the island campaign go smoothly. Oh hey guys, were you here this whole time? We begin today on the fifth mission. The first objective is to stay within smoochin' distance of the wingmen. But I'm garbage at flying formation, so I didn't do that. Command penalized me by playing head games over the radio. Romeo 1-1, one, one, all finished. It's all yours, 1-2. Copy. Moving into refuel. I think that was the same voice actor that just talked to himself. So that was weird. Regardless of whether you're formed up on the boys or not, the intro sequence takes a clean eight minutes of you loitering in the background, while your wingmen take turns slurping from the tanker. Oh my god. Oh my god, he on X Games mode. These long intro sequences are made with the sole intent of making speedrunners weep. But after that part was done, it didn't take long to get into trouble. There they are. What's poppin' fellas? Okay, we VID'd those guys. Now let's just Auto dive down. Engaged. Before they start picking me up. Look at that, that was timely. Unfortunately for me, whenever there's trouble, chat makes it double. Nothing to see here, fellas. <laughs> I hate that sound effect. The doors are open now. That's the best that I can do. Oh, this is so loud. I can barely hear the radio comms over the sound of air blasting through. What I hadn't heard the radio say was, watch out for those surface-to-air missiles. Luckily, the maintenance guy that stowed away in the back of the Kestrel had heard the warning. Oh yeah. Check two. Oh, that's a missile. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. We're good. God, I wish I could close these doors. Enemy there we go. Destroyed. Exfiltrate the friendly squad and return to the carrier. With the enemy armor KO'd, I'd plan to pick up the boys and head back to the carrier. Chat had planned very differently. No! <laughs> what? We're gonna land and dump fuel on these guys! Well, this is about to get goofy. First, we gotta drop all stores. Jettison. Hope that doesn't blow up beneath me. Fuel dump. On. Acknowledge. Thank you, Betty. Rudder kick it around. Right now, the troops are watching as their evac just dropped like six missiles off its wing. And is now dumping fuel out of out of the bottom of it. I think I'm getting no kit. Bingo fuel. Oh no. Oh that's that's flame out. Oh Rasta, thanks for the fall. So this is how Spicy Gavino dies with thunderous applause. Hey, real quick, it'd really help out if you like, subscribe, and comment below. It's the only thing that lets me afford life insurance. Unfortunately, for the brave troops on the ground, they wouldn't be going home anytime soon because misery loves company. Dude, what? No! Come on, these troops, they're about to see the same tragedy occur. Okay, we're just gonna have to put her down. And hopefully we'll have enough forward momentum here. 300 liters. I'm coming, fellas. Cushion the landing. No, no, no. Jesus Christ. I'm here, fellas. We're good. Hop on in. Hop on. <laughs> Why would you get in this aircraft? Why would you ever hop in after watching just these... What? Yeah, I hear you, Betty. I hear... Okay, be cool. Well, chat, what do you have to say for yourself? Some days I sit at my computer desk, wondering if this is it. Is this my life? Is this what I want? I then look to Spicy Gavino from the Twitch TV. He opens VTOL VR. I smile. Jubilation. This is what I want for my life. 
Oh no, the plane explodes after I eject. I forgot about that feature. Oh, they need to get out. Oh no. Uh, I should have just hit restart mission. And after that, it all went well. Chat just let me complete the mission and was super cool about everything. Except they f***ing weren't. I'm coming, fellas. <laughs> Noobus, how many channel points do you have? Six hundred and seventy-two thousand dollars each. Each. Yes! Hell yeah! Hey, come on, baby! Come on! Yes! Come on! If we jettison everything while we're on the ground... Oh, wow. Yeah, the missiles stay. Okay, that was live ordnance, so you guys should be careful where you step. You know what? Let's take these guys for a ride. Fuel dump. On. You know what? I'm gonna open the doors. You guys can just get out if you want to. How well does a lead toaster glide? We made it far. Not quite to the island, but if their gear's not that heavy, and they pass their swim qualifications, they might just make it. Okay. Oh no. Rest easy, brothers. Now the chat had run out of channel points to mess up the speedrun. All that was left to do was get clearance to land on the aircraft carrier. Carrier Victor 1-3 requests vertical landing. Carrier Victor 1-3 requests vertical landing. I bet you! Okay, well, he doesn't have to give us permission. We take permission here. Oh, please stop, please stop, please stop, please stop. Okay, well, it was a viable swerve, at least. Mission accomplished. Current losses? Four Kestrels. One platoon of marines, faith in humanity. Mission rating? We've had worse missions. Nightfall over Love Island. Command has tasked us with flying over Love Island, slamming a cruise missile into an enemy ship, and flying home. Let's get this sore off. Oh, I probably should have got some flaps. The only difficult part of this mission is getting ambushed by salmon placements while trying to line up the cruise missile shot. I negated this difficulty by having already completed the mission twice. Prepare to be consumed by a righteous fire. Grenade. The mission pivots on one particularly cuttable Achilles heel. It can pretty much only be completed if you fire the anti-ship cruise missile. If for some reason you have to jettison the cruise missile, you're out of luck. Or so chat thought. Good luck. God. Oh! There goes the load. There goes the fuel dump. You know what? Give me the speed. I still have the mass. We can bring down the enemy missile carrier. We have one final weapon to implement. Commander, you don't have the firepower. I've got the mass. Silent cop. Hit him hard, boys. You're on your own, Noble. Carter. I'm not worried about the missile. We've got a mission. Oh no. <laughs> we didn't even dodge the missile. <laughs> this was a discouraging start to the mission. At this point, it was well established that chat was not here to support me. But in times of trouble, you can always lean on your wingmen. Wingmen, form up on me. Are my wingmen dead? I think they're all dead. Wingmen status? Oh yeah, they're dead as hell. Okay, well... We didn't need them anyway. Alone and unafraid, I triumphantly set forth to clear the way to the enemy and take the shot, and the universe rewarded my callous hope. Shoot. Rifle. Shack. Nice. All right, now we got a clear shot. This could be a really easy mission. Having paved the way of enemy Sams, all that was left was to confirm the enemy target. It's that one, right? It's the big one. Can we all confirm that that is the actual target and I'm not just gonna blow up one random cruiser they have out there? All right. Is that our cruise missile making its way downtown? Make them away downtown, walking fast. Good effect on target. All right, fellas, that's RTB. That was a good mission. Remember when this used to be hard? Chat did, in fact, remember when this used to be hard, and they weren't ready to let me forget it. And this led to the most exciting moment I've had while streaming. Carrier, Victor 1-3, request landing. 
Victor, one, two, three, 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 two, this one's not not makeable. I believe. What is this considered? A case four? This is like a case four landing, an engine failure like in the dog leg? Oh, we can make this one easy. It's gonna be fairly aggressive though. Okay, this is actually way too much speed. I think we have enough fuel. Oh, this is gonna be so aggressive, oh my god. Okay, convert it more to speed. Let's aim a little bit past the carrier. Gear down, flaps down, hook down. Victor 1 3 ball. Ready for lineup. No, I'm not. Oh my god! Let's go, baby! I can't believe we landed that one. Mission accomplished. Current losses? A single additional aircraft. Mission rating? D. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like VR gaming content, there's plenty more of that on my channel. And I truly mean it when I say this. Thank you for a thousand subs. It's a ton of fun to game with you all, and the amount of support you guys have shown in two months of me playing video games and making dumb jokes is absolutely insane to me. I wish you all the very best rest of your week.